Hey guys, welcome back to more tutorials with me. We're going to be doing Zelda Ocarina of Time, wait for it, Majora's Mask, proper PC port, and by the people that did the Ship of Harkonnen port for the PC, they have come out with a new port, Ship 2, Harkonnen 2. But what does this mean? It means that the Majora's Mask PC port is officially out, which means we can now play Majora's Mask with using their Ship of Harkonnen port with all of their features that you know and love from their graphics options, their audio options, their enhancement options, their d-pad, their dialogue, all their fixes, all their extra little tweaks and nods, they have released a Majora's Mask PC port for us all to play. But why would I want this when I already have the RT64 recompile? And you'd be absolutely right to be wondering that. Why would I want this one when I have this one right here? Well, the thing is, this is a dedicated decompile port compared to a recompile port. They are very similar in a lot of ways, but they are also very useful. So now we have two versions of a PC port. But not only that, we also have the Ocarina of Time PC port over here too. So we can have them all running at once, giving us an absolute concophony of noise and bullshit going in the background to be really loud and over the place. There is no reason to have all three of these running at once, but it is nice to see, you know, the subtle differences in this stuff. And you may be wondering, why does this one look so much crisper than this one? Well, we can fix that. We can head into our graphics options and we can adjust the internal resolution. Boost that up to 2x. Oh, look at that. It looks way more smoother. And we can go even further. We can even go, well, maybe we need to get our FPS right. Let's adjust this FPS. Bam. Oh, now the FPS looks really smooth now. That's why we like these decompile pots. I mean, well, decompile pots versus recompiles. They're about the same, playing it wise, but Ship of Harkonnen 2 has a lot more mod support and everything else already pre-built from all their work on Ship of Harkonnen 1. So, let's get into how you can get Ship of Harkonnen 2 working on your computer. Now, first of all, you try to launch it and goes, oh, there's no O2R files found. So what's an O2R file? Well, if we look at the thing here, we see we have a MMO2R file. Basically, that's the ROM file that has been changed into an O2R file. So what we need to do is find our O2R ROM. We look for it and we find our Majora's Mask. It can be the GameCube USA one or it can be the Nintendo 64 USA ROM, both of which will work perfectly fine. We don't have this activated. It gives us our sort of converter going on here to get to be the O2R file. We're just gonna have to wait a little bit for this to do its thing. Relatively easy step. You just gotta make sure you have a Majora's Mask ROM that works and it just all works. And then we're done. It unloads it and starts the game up for us. It's that simple. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, give it a like, give it a subscribe over on the YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any problems, leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.